So Sun and Moon's not massively complete at the moment, I'm still programming, but um, so the basic idea is that it um, starts as the moon essentially um, and then uh, progresses through the track. And the other nice thing about that, if we look at it, is the, um, if we change to the, to the breakdown bit, is using our LED screen, we have, um, because the LED screen's slightly transparent, we have, um, we can also light through the screen. So, so when it's eclipsed, we also are able to bring some light through the screen. Um, so we use it as sort of another layer, another uh, kind of transparent layer on the front of it. Um, I mean, at the moment, we're using the, the Sharpies, which are, <laughs> which are these lights, which are, they seem to be, they're, they're fast becoming everybody's favorite, but they're, they're, they only take, um, I think, 170 watts or something like that, but they're as bright as everything else in the rig, basically. So um, they're fast and smooth and at this really tight kind of beam look, which we use for the ribbons look at the, the beginning as well. So we create the um, album cover, um, the, the ribbons tied on the album cover. We do it with the lights at the beginning as well. Often people think that our Sharpies are lasers because they're such a tight, bright beam. But um, we do in fact have lasers today as well. We do have the, uh, we do have the real thing as well today. And we, what we've done with those today is, um, Lawrence from ER Productions is helping us with that. And he's, um, he's put, uh, bounce mirrors on the front edge of the stage so we can actually um, move the laser around the room because there's restrictions in Brixton regarding um, not scanning the crowd as there is in all of the UK so so in order to get a, a look that fills the whole um, arena we, we, we're using uh, some bounce mirrors on the front edge of the stage to, to give us to give us more places we can use the laser. The show always happens, but there's, there's certainly been tense moments, even, even in Miami, which was a great show. We, we had problems with the video until literally seven minutes before doors. So, so we had seven minutes to uh, map the video correctly, um, you know, with kind of 6,000 people waiting in the amphitheater. So that was tense, but yeah, it always, it always happens. <laughs>